So, the next application of this diode is logarithmic amplifier. Interestingly, this RPM can be used to produce logarithm of the input operation. As the name implies logarithmic amplifier, the output is logarithm of the input voltage. Okay. So, if I take the circuit diagram of this one, here the input voltage is applied. Simply a diode is placed in the feedback path. If this is I, this is also I. Let the VF is the voltage forward voltage across the diode. This is R. Then uh, what is the current through the diode? You might have studied this uh, diode in your second semiconductor device course. So, the current through the diode is given by I is equal to I s into a to the power of V f by eta V t minus 1. This is the standard diode current expression, where I is the forward current through the diode, and V f is the forward voltage across diode. And V t is thermal voltage this is constant which is 26 milli volts at 300 degrees Kelvin or 27 degrees centigrade and eta is a constant which is equal to 1 for silicon and 2 for germanium. I s is reverse saturation current. Now, here if you assume that V f is greater than eta V t, eta V t is very small of the order of milli volts if the forward voltage across the diode is uh, greater than eta V t, then this can be approximated as I s times e to the power of V f by eta V t. This one you can neglect. Now, if you take the logarithm to the base E on both sides, ln I is equal to ln I s e to the power of V f by eta V t. This ln is actually here, this is log to the base E. So, ln x means log x to the base E. So, you can have the base to the base 10 also, but here we are taking to the base E. So, log a b is equal to log a plus log b. So, this is log i s less ln e to the power of V f by eta V t. This is equal to ln i s plus this is one of the important uh, formula in terms of logarithmic is this is ln e to the base e to the power of x e nothing but x only. So, this is equal to V f by eta V t. 
or what is Vf? Vf is equal to eta Vt. If I take this logarithm of i minus logarithm of is. This will be expression for Vf. But what is V naught? This is with respect to 0, this is with respect to this ground, this is plus minus. So, this Vf is this plus minus. So, you can easily see that this is also ground point, virtual ground. So, you can easily see that V naught is equal to minus Vf. Therefore, what is V naught? V naught is equal to minus V f, this is minus eta V t times logarithm of i minus logarithm of i s. But what is current i? This is 0 ground, this is V i. V i minus 0 by r is equal to i. So, simply v i by r therefore, v naught is equal to minus eta v t times ln i is v i by r minus ln i s. This is the expression for the output of this circuit and you can see that output v naught is proportional to logarithm of V i that is by the name logarithmic amplifier. But there are some drawbacks of this logarithmic amplifier. There are two temperature dependent temps. Temperature dependent temps. One is eta V t which is the scaling factor here and second one is this offset term this is scaling term and another is log or simply ln i s this is in fact offset term. So, because of this uh, temperature dependent terms, so the output will vary with the temperature. So, in order to avoid this problem, so we will modify this uh, logarithmic amplifier which can uh, cancel the temperature effect that is called temperature compensated logarithmic amplifier. I will call just log amp. Here we are going to use two identical diodes to cancel the, the temperature effect. This is amplifier A1. Then here we are going to use one more diode which will be supplied with the constant current source of I. Which is thermistor basically, RT is thermistor. This is same as this R, this is RF feedback resistance, this is final output V naught, this is VI. Let us call this output as V01. 
plus minus this is 3 F 1 is the forward voltage across diode D 1 across diode D 2 V F 2 these two are identical diodes. Now, we know that V 0 1 we have derived the expression for V 0 1 as minus eta V t logarithm of V i by R minus logarithm of I s just now have derived this expression this But what about the expression for V F 2? The voltage across the diode D 2. So, current is this here this current is 0. So, the entire current I will flow through this one and reverse saturation current is I itself. So, this is equal to because this is plus minus this will be eta V T times ln i minus ln i s. This is the forward voltage across this diode D 2. So, what is uh, if I call this one as a V 1? So, what is the relation between V 0 1, V f 2 and V 1? So, this is V 0 1 is with respect to plus minus, this is minus plus, this is plus minus. So, this is minus 2 plus minus 2 plus and plus 2 minus. So, K V L is V 0 1 plus V F 2 is equal to V 1. So, knowing this V 1 the remaining circuit is this A 2 is inverting amplifier. non inverting amplifier this is a this is minus and this is plus. This is non inverting amplifier whose gain is output what is V naught is equal to V 1 times 1 plus feedback resistance R f by the input resistance which is R t plus R. But what is V 1 this is equal to V 0 1 this plus this I call 1 and 2 this is 1 plus 2 this is 1 this is 2. So, minus eta V t logarithm of V i by R plus eta V t logarithm of I s is the first expression plus eta V t logarithm of i this minus eta v t logarithm of i s. This is plus and this is minus these two will get cancelled. Okay. So, this will be minus eta v t this is v i by r this is i. So, this becomes ln of v i by i r. Because ln A minus ln B is equal to ln A by B. If I take minus eta V t outside, this will be plus and this will be minus. So, ln of E i by R minus ln of I, which is equal to ln of E i by I R. This is the expression for uh, V 1. So, what is the final output by uh, V naught 1 plus means this will be R t plus R plus R f divided by R t plus R times V 1, V 1 is this minus eta V t logarithm of V i by I r. So, final output of this temperature compensated 
logarithmic amplifier is minus eta vt into the constant rt plus r plus rf divided by rt plus r times logarithm of vi by ir. So, here also the output is proportional logarithm of the input. But the advantage of this one is here this temperature dependent value eta v t is going to get cancelled. So, as I have told there are two terms in the uncompensated uh, logarithmic amplifier one is eta v t another is uh, logarithm of i s. So, this logarithm of i s is going to be cancelled by using these two terms will get cancelled. So, the ln i s is not present here. Whereas, this eta v t effect can be nullified by using this thermistor. R t is a thermistor, the principle of the thermistor is resistance varies with the temperature. Okay. So, you have to choose this thermistor such that it will compensate the effects of the variations of eta v t with temperature. So, this eta v t variations can be nullified by using thermistor and this ln i s was uh, cancelled by two identical diodes d 1 and d 2. So, this is temperature compensated logarithmic amplifier. So, similar to this logarithmic uh, amplifier, so we can also construct the anti-logarithmic amplifier uh, using operational amplifier. Okay. So, anti-logarithmic amplifier. So, a circuit diagram of this consists of two diodes. There will be a current source here. Here there is a voltage divider. Here the input voltage V i is applied whose uh, anti logarithm operation has to be taken is grounded let us call this as I f and the feedback path the diode is connected let us call this intermediate output as V 0 1 and there is one more diode is connected here both will be symmetrical. feedback resistance RF is connected and here output V naught is taken. Let us call this current as I and this voltage is V 1. Now, we have to perform the analysis and we have to show that output V naught is proportional to the anti logarithm of the input V i anti logarithm in the sense that uh, exponential function basically we call this as d1 and d2 d1 d2 are identical diodes so first i'll find out uh, what is v01 this v01 is basically due to the current source if and the input voltage source V i. So, this and this both will contribute to this V 0 1. Say the contribution of I f let us call as is V 0 1 dash and the contribution due to V i let us call as V 0 1 double dash. Then V 0 1 is equal to V 0 1 dash plus V 0 1 double dash. Now, what is V 0 1 which is the contribution due to I f. So, we have to set V i is equal to 0 to obtain V 0 1 dash set V i is equal to 0. So, if you ground this V i, 
if this vi is grounded then this r1 r1 will be parallel between this v1 and this ground ok. So, because no current flows through this one due to ideal of amp so there will be a resistance across this point and the ground point that normally will use for compensating the offset voltages. So, no need to consider that one. So, remaining thing is this entire IF will flows through the diode because the current here is 0. So, what will be expression for this uh, V01, V01 which we have already derived for this uh, logarithmic amplifier as minus eta Vt logarithm of IF minus logarithm of IS, where IS is the reverse saturation current, this is V01 dash and to obtain V01 double dash set IF is equal to 0, implies what happens if this IF is 0, so this also will be 0 as a result of that if 0 current flows through the diode, this voltage is V1, this is also V1 positive voltage is applied to this diode. So, this will add short circuit thereby this V1 will be the output V01 double dash. So, what is V1? V1 is voltage division Vi into R2 by R1 plus R2 because the circuit will act as a voltage follower this itself is V01 double dash. Therefore, what is V01 is minus eta Vt logarithm of IF minus logarithm of IS plus the contribution due to VI is R, R2 by R1 plus R2 times VI. This is one expression. Now, we can also find out this V01, this is ground because of the virtual ground concept. So, the current direction is this and the voltage across this uh, diode is V01 with respect to this ground. So, V01 can also be written for the diode D2 as yes. V01 is equal to minus eta Vt current through this diode is I in place of this IF you have I, IS, IS remains same because we are taking identical diodes. This is logarithm of I minus logarithm of IS. This is equation 2. We can equate 1 and 2 so that 1 is equal to 2 implies minus eta Vt logarithm of I minus logarithm of Is is equal to minus eta Vt logarithm of If minus logarithm of Is plus R2 by R1 plus R2 times Vi. So, this is minus eta Vt that implies minus eta Vt times logarithm of I minus of minus becomes plus plus eta Vt times logarithm of Is is equal to this is minus eta Vt times logarithm of IF plus this minus minus becomes plus eta Vt times logarithm of IS plus R2 by R1 plus R2 times Vi. So, this will get cancelled this and this get cancelled. So, what you will get now? If I take this term to the other side, this term to the other side, then it will be plus 
So, R2 by R1 plus R2 times Vi, Vi is equal to R2 by R1 plus R2 times Vi is equal to minus eta Vt logarithm of i and this becomes plus plus eta Vt logarithm of if. plus eta vt logarithm of if. So, eta vt is common this will be logarithm of if minus logarithm of i we know that log a minus log b is equal to log a by b eta vt times logarithm of i f by i. We want basically the output voltage in terms of the input voltage V i. V i is here uh, anyhow. So, I will find out i in terms of V naught so that we will get the expression for V naught. Okay. Implies logarithm of i f by i is equal to this eta v t will go to other side. So, R 2 by R 1 plus R 2 times eta V t or if you want to take the reverse logarithm of i by i f then there will be negative sign this is equal to minus R 2 by R 1 plus R 2 times into V i of course eta V t into V i. So, what is I by I f is anti logarithm. This is logarithm, if you take this logarithm to the other side, this will become anti log. Means this is log inverse, log inverse of minus R2 divided by R1 plus R2 times eta Vt into Vi. Log inverse is nothing but E because this is log a to the base e is equal to say x what is a a to the power of x okay which is also equal to log inverse of x so this log inverse also can be written as exponential e to the power of minus r2 by r1 plus r2 into eta vt into vi but we want the expression for V naught. So, this implies if I want uh, I then this will be I f times, but I want the expression here as V naught. So, what is the expression for I in terms of V naught? We can see that here this is V naught, this is 0, this current is I and this resistance is R f. So, what is the relation between uh, V naught, I and R f? V naught this is the direction of the current. So, V naught minus this is 0 volts minus 0 divided by R f is equal to I implies I is equal to V 0 by R f. So, you can substitute this I is equal to V 0 by R f in this expression V 0 by R f is equal to I f times anti logarithm of minus R 2 by R 1 plus R 2 into V i into eta V t. Implies what is the expression for V naught? I f R f times anti logarithm or exponential function times minus of R2 by R1 plus R2 times eta Vt into Vi. This is the expression for the output of the given circuit. Gas output V naught is proportional to e to the power of Vi. This E nothing but anti logarithm. So, this is called anti logarithmic amplifier. 
So now by using this uh, logarithmic and anti logarithmic amplifiers, we can uh, implement the multiplication and division. Multiplier using op amp. So I am not showing the entire op amp circuit, so I will just show the logarithmic block. This is the log amplifier. If the input is say x, what will be the output? This is proportional logarithmic of x. And if I give second input y to another logarithmic amplifier, then output will be logarithmic of y. If I add these two, then the output will be logarithmic of x plus logarithm of y, which is nothing but logarithm of x y. Now to get x y what you have to do? You have to pass through the anti logarithmic amplifier. So, this output will be log inverse of logarithmic of x y. So, log inverse and log get cancelled, you will get simply x y that is the multiplication of the two inputs x and y. Similarly, you can implement the division using log and anti logarithmic amplifier. We have the same dark diagram, but here instead of plus this you have to minus. If you take this as minus, then you will get anti logarithmic amplifier, then you will get the division operation. This is log amplifier, this is another log amplifier, x, y, then you subtract one from the other, this is order, but this is plus sign, this is minus sign, this is log x, this is ln y, output will be log x minus log y. We know that log a minus log b is equal to log a by b. So, if I pass through the anti logarithmic amplifier, then this will be logarithmic inverse of logarithm of x y y. So, logarithmic inverse and logarithm get cancelled, you will get x by y division. So, this is about this multiplier and division operations using operational amplifier. So, we will discuss about the uh, practical op amp characteristics in the next lecture. Thank you.